Tom Neal, a stalwart presence in classic Hollywood, has etched an enduring mark in the annals of the film industry. The question of when one first recognized his talent inevitably leads to a journey through the golden era of cinema. Neal's ability to embody characters with depth and authenticity has made him a timeless symbol of the silver screen. What sets Tom Neal apart is not just his on-screen prowess, but the intangible qualities that resonate with audiences across generations. His performances, marked by a raw sincerity, evoke a connection that goes beyond the real. Neal's enduring appeal lies in his ability to capture the essence of the human experience, making him a figure that withstands the test of time. As we reflect on the cinematic journey paved by Tom Neal, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic Hollywood actor. Your stories add richness to the legacy of a performer who left an indelible mark on the hearts of film enthusiasts. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In 1933, Tom Neal made a mark in the boxing ring, knocking out opponents in one round. Notably, he defeated William Beltran at Harvard University's Indoor Athletic Building and Lloyd Blake in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Coached by Henry Lamar, Neal showcased his skills early on. However, despite his success in the ring, his career took a different turn. In the late 1950s, Tom Neal attempted a comeback in movies and television. Unfortunately, his violent off-screen reputation hindered any resurgence. Despite his earlier achievements, Neal struggled to regain his footing in the entertainment industry. Tom Neal's story reflects the challenges faced by individuals navigating the transition from one career to another. His early triumphs in boxing didn't guarantee success in the world of acting, where off-screen behavior played a crucial role. The contrasting phases in Neal's life offer a glimpse into the unpredictable nature of fame and the impact of personal choices on a career trajectory. Born into wealth in Evanston, Illinois, Tom Neal's early life hinted at a trajectory far from the boxing ring and later attempts at an acting comeback. While his privileged upbringing shaped his initial years, it was in 1933 that he gained recognition for knocking out James Crawford in a single round in Cambridge, Massachusetts, marking a significant moment in his amateur boxing career. The contrast between his affluent beginnings and gritty boxing success foreshadowed with the unpredictable journey that awaited him. Despite early triumphs in the ring, Neal's path took an unexpected turn. In the late 1950s, he sought a new chapter in movies and television, attempting to transition from the ring to the screen. However, his off-screen reputation, marred by violence, proved to be a formidable obstacle. The latter part of his life unfolds a parallel narrative with a poignant coincidence. Both Tom Neal and his son, Tom Neal Jr., shared an untimely demise at the age of 58. Senior succumbed to heart failure while Junior battled cancer. A striking similarity in their lifespans, both living nearly the same duration, adds a layer of reflection to the actor's tumultuous journey. Tom Neal's story is not just a chronicle of a boxer turned actor, but a testament to the unpredictable nature of fame and the lasting impact of personal choices on one's career trajectory. From the boxing ring to the silver screen, his life encapsulates the challenges faced by those navigating transitions between different realms. In 1933, coached by Henry Lamar, Tom Neal made waves in amateur boxing, delivering a knockout punch to opponents like Tommy Mitchell and Ig Rosenberg in one round each. His prowess reached a pinnacle at Harvard University's Indoor Athletic Building, where he defeated Herman Zeinman. However, this success in the ring didn't guarantee a smooth transition to acting in the late 1950s. Despite attempting a comeback on the silver screen, Neal's off-screen reputation, tainted by violence, posed a significant hurdle. The later part of his life took an unexpected turn as both he and his son faced untimely demises, adding a poignant layer to the actor's tumultuous journey. Tom Neal's story serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of fame and the enduring impact of personal choices on one's career trajectory. Noted for his rugged good looks and charming personality, Tom Neal, the boxer-turned-actor, had a hair-trigger temper and was prone to jealous outbursts. In 1933, he made a mark in amateur boxing by knocking out Lawrence O'Neill in just one round in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Beyond his achievements in the ring, Tom's personal life added a layer of complexity. 
1934, he was engaged to Inez Martin, a one-time Follies girl and ex-mistress of the murdered racketeer Arnold Rothstein. Despite the engagement, Tom's father intervened, threatening to disinherit the family's million-dollar fortune and putting an end to the relationship. Tom Neal's journey from the boxing ring to the silver screen in the late 1950s faced hurdles with his off-screen reputation marked by violence, hindering his acting comeback. The later part of his life took an unexpected turn as both he and his son faced untimely demises, adding a poignant layer to the actor's tumultuous journey. Tom Neal's story serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of fame and the enduring impact of personal choices on one's career trajectory. In 1933, Tom Neal showcased his boxing prowess by delivering a knockout punch to Samuel Rodway in a single round in Cambridge, Massachusetts. His success in the amateur boxing ring marked a significant moment in his early career. However, Tom Neal's life took a tumultuous turn in the 1960s when he faced legal troubles for the tragic shooting of his third wife, resulting in a six-year jail term for involuntary manslaughter. This shocking incident added a dark chapter to the actor's already complex narrative. Notably, Neal, known for his volatile nature, had a history of violent encounters, including a notorious altercation with actor Franchot Tone over the affections of actress Barbara Payton. The actor's personal life, marked by tumultuous relationships and legal issues, contrasts starkly with his earlier achievements in the boxing ring. Tom Neal's journey, encompassing triumphs, controversies, and legal challenges, paints a vivid picture of the unpredictable nature of fame and the enduring impact of personal choices on one's trajectory in the public eye. In the aftermath of a fading film career plagued by negative publicity, Tom Neal made a significant shift from Hollywood to Palm Springs. Settling in the desert city, he took on diverse roles, including working as a night manager for a restaurant and trying his hand at gardening. Seeking stability, he even ventured into entrepreneurship, establishing a landscaping business. However, the endeavor faced financial challenges, leading to bankruptcy within a few years. This drastic change in Neil's life reflects the harsh realities of navigating the aftermath of a troubled career. Moreover, amid personal and professional struggles, Tom Neal's second wife, Patricia Fenton, passed away from cancer in 1958. Their son, Tom Neal Jr., who later played a role in the remake of his father's classic film noir, Detour, faced the loss of his mother. The younger Neal eventually found a home with Tom's sister, further emphasizing the complex dynamics within the actor's family. Intriguingly, Tom Neal shared the screen with his girlfriend, Barbara Payton, in The Great Jesse James Raid, adding a layer of complexity to his cinematic journey. The intertwining of personal relationships and professional collaborations underscored the challenges Neal faced, both on and off the screen. From Hollywood Heights to the arid landscapes of Palm Springs, Tom Neal's post-fame life unfolds as a narrative of resilience, loss, and reinvention. The actor's foray into unconventional jobs and the intricacies of his personal life paint a vivid picture of a man grappling with the unpredictable nature of fame and its aftermath. 